Hello, everybody. This is Xenocat82543. Welcoming you back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles 2. And we're starting Chapter 4 today. It's time to get some info. I almost forgot I was just starting the chapter. Dude. I assume this is what the Aegis did when it unleashed that power. Yep. Okay. It's always good to find out stuff about what's going on. The body may die, but never the soul, which is merely passed on. Souls flow onward, born and reborn, forever part of the great ether stream. Why friends make grave here? Can we not take Biggie Pon home to village? He'd want to be buried where he fell. It is traditional amongst mercenaries. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I'm so sorry, Father. I'm surprised I remembered her name. If only I hadn't listened to those people, you'd still be... I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. No matter what, those guys would have tracked us down eventually. What matters is that Vandam saved all our lives. For now, let's just be grateful to him for that. I won't forget your words, Vandam. Ever. I'll fight my own war with Pyra. Speaking of Py um, Pyra, of Pyra, where is she? She's like not here. Pyra? Oh, there she is. Okay. I was like, you better give her a reason for why she wasn't there before. Good. good. I was worried that you might not. Wake up. Pyra. You know I've got to ask. That thing that happened yesterday. You called yourself Mithra? What? I... I am... I'd like to hear that too. That power, it wasn't normal. Is that the true power of the Aegis? I think you owe us an explanation. It was pretty crazy. Tora want to know too. Pyra was super strong. Why so strong, huh? <gasps> no, no, don't pressure the girl. Well, uh, the thing is... I, mean... I would like to start getting answers. Pyra? No, this is Mithra. Why? Huh? Why did you wake me up? Huh? What? I didn't want to wake up. I didn't want to come back. I left everything to her so I'd never have to use that power again. But then you woke me up. W woke you up? If you hadn't been so useless, none of this would have happened. I wouldn't have had to use this power. Didn't you listen to that Vandam guy? He told you to hold back. He told you to run. 
But you just had to push yourself, idiot. Look where it's got us now. You! You really messed up. You don't have to tell me that. I know, all right. I knew I was being an idiot. Rex. But I just... I couldn't hand you over to them. I wanted to keep you safe. Uh, what? Uh, at any rate, if you've got questions, you can ask her. I'm out of here. Bye. Uh, that's not fair. Everyone... I'm very sorry about all that. Hmm. Well, that did not provide any answers, other than the fact that Rex was being an idiot, and we all knew that. Malos and I are Aegises. Oh. Blades born with a terrible power, strong enough to destroy the world. Malos is another Aegis. Long ago, there was a man who climbed a world tree, hoping to make it to Elysium and meet his creator. But when he arrived at Elysium, he found it empty. I do so instead, his as backstory. proof that he had reached that divine realm, he brought back two core crystals, Malos and me. And once he made it back to all rest, he awakened Malos. Why he did it, I can't say. For greed, for power, or perhaps... When Malos awakened, he wielded his world-shaking power without restraint. To him, it was natural. He had never known anything else. Okay. I was awakened by a driver who was determined to stop Malos's rampage. So Malos and I fought. I fought with all my might and succeeded in defeating Malos. But not without a price. Three great titans fell in the struggle. After the battle, I sealed myself away to ensure that power would never be unleashed again. I took the form you see now and fell into a long slumber. That was 500 years ago. The Aegis War. The man who awakened Mithra was Adam, hero of the lost kingdom of Torna. Adam fought as Mithra's driver to protect the world Mithra. from Malos. Hmm. We Titans played our part in that battle too. It is our calling to live alongside humanity, after all. Gramps. Adam hid Pyra's sleeping body inside a great ship and sunk her to the cloud sea's floor where none could abuse her power. So that day, that's the ship that we... That's how Pyra and I... I believe it was fate that we met each other. Otherwise, my sister would never have woken up. You call her... Your sister? Mithra and I used to talk together in that dream of Elysium where you met me. We promised that when we were awakened again, we'd go home to the real Elysium. And then we would fulfill our real purpose. And that's defeating Malos again.
I'm very sorry about Mithra. She didn't mean all that. You have to understand, she came out because she wanted to protect you. She broke her own seal for you. Even used her power as the Aegis. The flame powers I use are just a shadow of her strength. Droplets of excess energy trickling through the seal. Don't worry about it. She was right. This was all my fault. I'm just glad... Hmm? ...that you finally managed to open up a little. Also, thank you for protecting everyone, I mean. Protecting? Me? Your powers are incredible. I could feel the truth behind the legends. I'm sorry. I... You apologize a lot. <laughs> you know, I guess you still feel guilty about the Aegis's power, right? But I don't want you to have to apologize anymore. I hope I can help you move past that. No. I know I can. Rex, I... Power depends on the heart of its wielder. That's what Vandam said. That's why your power is the power to protect. The power to keep everyone safe and smiling. I want to do the same. I'm going to be the kind of driver who can protect you in turn. I promise. Make a girl cry, that's not going to fly. Make a girl smile, you pass the trial. That's the third rule of the Salvager Code. Yeah? <laughs> Rex, Rex! Can you help Tora with repairing of Puppy, please? Okay, I'll be right there. Oh, yeah. What's for dinner tonight? How does meatball pot o sound? Delicious. Mmm, I can't wait. That's my Rex. Never loses his smile. And that's what keeps us all going. Reminds you of Adam, don't you think? What's this? Take it, and go to Indol. That dagger's owner will tell you how you can get to Elysium. This is a blade weapon, right? Who's its owner? The man who was once my driver. Your driver? Huh? But then... Coal is a blade. We fought together in the Aegis War. Yes. His real name is Minoth. Blades not get old, though. Why Cole looks so old? Because I'm one of the cursed ones. A flesh eater. <laughs> A flesh eater? A blade who has been fused with human cells. A long time ago. Before the war, That's the some thing, sought to it? test the limits of Blade's potential. I am a product of their experiments, one of the unlucky ones who was tainted by their folly. Why would ancient people do that? It seems that by combining Blade and human, it is sometimes possible to create Blades with extremely unique powers. But only very rarely. Most experiments were failures. And I was no different. <sighs> I gained nothing Sorry at about all. That? And lost my immortality to boot. I likely won't last much longer. They shouldn't have had an auto shut off thing if there's more than 15 Before minutes I of cutscenes. I want to see where your path ends. That dagger will aid you. 
Will you do this for me? Of course. Oh, but can I ask you to do something too? Namely? I was wondering if you could write a play about Van Damme. About Van Damme? Yeah, I think his story could inspire a lot of people. Once I find Elysium, I'll come see you again. Show it to me then? An interesting notion. Perhaps that is the least I can do. Very well. I'll do it. So see you make it back here in one piece. Understand? Absolutely. You have my word. Well, that was a lot to process. I am hoping that there aren't too many more cutscenes. Of course. Oh well. I didn't want to actually, like, you know, play the game today or anything. Interesting coral piece. If I seem to be commenting on the music a lot, that's because I'm planning to be a music major. So, music's kind of my thing. Oh yeah, we have text boxes. Now to get to indoor, we have to... Oh, great. Okay. Fandom's last witch. Cool. Well, I know what I'm gonna do now. Sure. Don't think I have another side quest. Blade engage max has gone from two to three. This is important. Not the blade menu. I can now engage but I'll work my everyone to meet your expectations. Engage blades. Yeah, we're not engaging this guy. This guy is Holy Cavalier, holy knight. Holy Cavalier. Yeah, luck. This guy is actually good too. Rocco! And you just have to have Poppy. Just gonna go through really quick. I believe you have enough to lock up. Luck is always good. You are so close. Come on. You're not that close. You're maxed out. Still don't know what I need to do for that. That's cook more. Question. Mm -hmm. Question. More people. Still question mark. Oh well. I am happy about this using three blades. I may bond some more with Nia. Now would actually be a good time to bond with Nia. And now that we've finished all those cutscenes, there's some people to talk to, so I'll talk to these people right here. And next time we'll go around and see if other people have 
things to say. After, I try to get another rare blade on Nia because I would like to do that. Because now that we can have three blades, I would like to have three rare blades on her. I don't know, just seems like a good idea. So I will meet you back with the next rare blade I get. And yeah, I'll see you then.